it's a wrap took to the streets to ask Namibians whether they would participate in this year's independence celebrations. So I'll be celebrating Independence Day. I think it's a significant moment for us to reflect upon 30 years of what has happened in this country, the gains that we've made so far, and looking forward to 2020 as we're also looking forward to the next decade in terms of what is it that we want to bring changes to in our country and what is it that we want to impact. So I'll be definitely full force uh, brying probably at my, at my spot, uh, a couple of friends celebrating and remembering about some of the gains that we've made as a country. Nog nooit van ons land is heel te mal korrup. Dus ook om die toela nou nog zijn te betleien in die hof. En daar is nog geen oplossing. Van alles is korrup. Alles. Onze rechtsstelsel is ook heel te mal korrup. Ja, definitief. 30 jaar zijn independence. Hij is useless. You know, you, we can't be spending a million dollars. I actually, my personal view on independence celebrations is we can celebrate independence at least every five years or every 10 years and etc. I mean, we have been spent, and actually the million dollars, it's just because we have been complaining about the fish rod and etc. That's why they brought the fees down. It could have actually been probably three million or five million. The usual cause it was, you know, already there, but they realized that, okay, fine. The masses have now opened their eyes. So let us just, in a way, try to bring the money down that you are spending so that we can just eye blind them or something but even that million dollars can help some way rather than just spending it on a million dollars that is actually even going to go to a few individuals i mean catering has to be done by a company you know sound has to be done by a company and all those things are going to be procured and all those things or those companies are owned by people that has connections you know to the leadership especially of swapo and that's actually the, the problem that we're having. I don't think that is, um, it is quite a radical move. It was gonna be a good move to show that yes, we are in agreement with uh, everything that has been going on. But when you look at it internationally, it's actually also gonna embarrass us more. So for me to boycott the independence really is not of my taste. Um, I think we can attend, those that want to attend, they can attend, we, you know, I don't know. But what I say is it's actually just going to embarrass us more just because there are going to be international leaders that comes to visit us and etc. So imagine you are addressing, uh, let's say, 100 people at a very big stadium with international guests. What an embarrassment.